Hi, this is Sarah Levin, the Artful Inker. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And in today's video, we're going to make this masculine butterfly gala card. Let's set this aside and get to the creative fun. For this card, we're going to use the Butterfly Gala stamp set, which uh, is in the current Stampin' Up! catalog and will be in the new one that goes live on June 3rd. If you don't yet have a copy of the Stampin' Up! catalog, uh, use the link below the video uh, to request a copy. So I'm going to use the uh, stamps from the set that look like uh, monarch butterfly wings. And I have cut this stamp in two pieces, but when I cut my stamps apart, I don't know if you can see this. I don't neaten up, let's see if I bring it up here. I don't neaten up the edges. And that way, uh, say for this stamp, uh, there is a coordinating punch that will punch both of the large and small butterfly at the same time. I can easily fit these back together on a block and have them stamp in the right uh, position. So I'm going to be inking in Versamark on my basic black and I'm going to start down here off the edge and then come up just a little bit, bring a little more of the wing on. And I'm trying not to, since we're going to heat emboss this, I'm trying not to touch the um, cardstock a lot and get the oils from my fingers on the cardstock. Hopefully, they'll all be over in this one area and I won't put uh, embossing powder there. Now it's a little easier to tell when you're doing Versamark on the black where it is going. Um, you may not be able to see it in the camera, but I get a little easy tone on tone uh, going on here. Just putting in a couple of these smaller butterflies. Okay. Let me put this out of the way, and then I've got my white Stampin' Emboss Powder. I'm going to flip that cardstock over in case I got any of the Versamark on uh, that scrap paper. It's not cardstock. Okay, let's tap this off. Let's sprinkle a little bit more down here. So I'm going to take this and heat emboss it, uh, particularly when I heat emboss on dark cardstock. I heat from behind because you'll always have a few little flecks of embossing powder that move around. And by heating from behind, you don't have your heat tool blowing the white particles out on your dark cardstock. So let me pause this and I'll be right back. So the heat embossing is done. Now I've got a wedge of one of the stamping sponges and I like to attach a little cardstock handle uh, to the top of mine. That way I don't clean them out. I do have one for each color that I Use. Now I'm pouncing this off because I, I don't want a lot of the Whisper White uh, craft ink. Just creating a little movement here. And this does not dry quickly. Uh, since it's craft ink, it stays open longer. 
And then I'm going to take a piece of paper towel and just kind of rub here and it smooths and um, lifts a little bit of the, the ink so that you get, uh, looks like an erased chalkboard. Okay, let's put that out of the way. And then over here, I've got a little bit of water and I've got my white um, Craft Ink refill and I'm just going to add a, a drop to the water and I've got one of my water brushes and I'm going to flick some dots of this on here And these won't be bright white, they'll just add a little bit of speckled texture. Okay, so let me set this back out of the way. You will want to clean your brush fairly quickly. And let's move this out of the way. And while I'm thinking about it, you're going to, uh, I mentioned you need to clean uh, your water brush. And I clean mine by um, spritzing it with my stamp cleaner and then rinsing and then uh, using a little bit of Dawn uh, dish liquid if need be. So here's our sentiment and I've got a piece of Just Jade Hard stock right here. Let's see if I can hit the middle of this. Oh, very good. When in doubt, you can use the Stamparatus, and I that was my Memento ink. So now we're on to assembling this card. So we're using a basic black uh, base. And I've got a piece of Whisper White for the inside. And let me bring that Memento back in here, along with the small butterfly and my scrap of paper. Things, I'm just looking at this thing. Whew, this is getting messy looking, but my workspace, but then that's usually my workspace. It gets messy looking before it gets better. I don't know about yours, but that seems to be the way for me. Okay, so just a little bit of detail there for the inside of the card. And then let's grab this scrap piece out of the way. And I've got a quarter inch wide strip of the Just Jade card stock. This is one of the new in colors and will be available on June 3rd. So I'm going to line up here, make sure I'm straight on using the grid paper, and then just add this. And then time for some multi-purpose glue on the back. All of today's products can be purchased in my Stampin' Up! store. You can find a link for that in the comments below. We're going to ignore my fingerprint there on the inside. And then I've got a piece of Whisper White and going to use black Stampin' Dimensionals. I love these because you don't see the the white dimensional screaming out from under the dark cardstock. Now 
Now the black piece is at 3 and 15 sixteenths by 5 and 3 sixteenths. And then the whisper white piece, let me think, is 4 and a sixteenth by 5 and 5 sixteenths. Oops. Keep grabbing the edge of the, the card base. Let's just straighten this up. I love that the multi-purpose glue gives you a moment to shift. And here's my sentiment. And I've got an edge piece from the mini Stampin' Dimensionals that are in the, uh, the black dimensionals. And let me grab another mini dimensional to put on the end here. Save your edge pieces and use them. They stick just the same. Let's line this up with my grid paper before I give this a good push and make sure that I am straight. Okay, so there we have our Butterfly Gala Masculine card. Thanks for stopping in today. This was Sarah Levin the Artful Inker of theartfulinker.com. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and then click the bell if you would like to receive notifications for my future videos. And use the links in the description below uh, to go to my store, my blog, subscribe to my YouTube channel, request a catalog, etc. Have a great day. Bye.